Good evening, worlds. Sorry, good. Yeah, good evening, worlds. Five o'clock, so it's pretty much the evening, right? <laughs> good evening, world. This is Ivan Ramirez. Um, I just got back from work like an hour and a half ago. I rewatched my video I made yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed my show. I was sick, Ivan. Mean, yeah, that's how top much guys my scratch is coming to me. Something like Incredibles. I mean, exactly like Incredibles. Not exactly. Like, I'm not going to have a jet go underwater, obviously. But, like, you're looking at a high tech jet. That's my point. Like, something like $300 million jets like the best jet in the world. The GPS. Looking at a beautiful lot of Manal, and you're looking at a high tech $300 million condo. And I might put a bit more. I might put maybe $340, $350 million towards it. Pimp it up more. Pimp it up completely. Because chances are me and Vijay will not be able to find... Will not be able to, to, to build the, the condo on top of the roof. Chances are that might not happen. We'll see what happens. Hopefully I can get it on top of the roof. But if not, we have to buy land. And then we have to build the condo on top on, 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 our, on our land. I, have you thought of building the condo on, 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 on where you're working? No, I don't want to do that. It's a bit weird. I don't want to build the condo. I could, like, me and Vijay can easily build the condo on, on the very land that we purchase for the, for, for the movie, but it's, 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 it's weird. Like, that's, no, I don't want to do that. I want to have my own land where my condo, I want my condo pretty close to downtown Vancouver. I want to, to get the route that condo in downtown Vancouver, but if we can't, we have to find land in near Vancouver. Is, and we'll build a land near Vancouver. Downtown Vancouver. We only need to get like a good like two acres of land. It doesn't have to be a big land. One acre, two acres worth of land. Two acres worth of land is good enough. I don't want my land to be too big. Get I only I only want like two acres of land. That's enough. God, how many how much acres? A good like one and a half to two acres is enough. One and a half acres of land I'll buy. That's like a, fo a football field and a half. That's big enough. And then we build the three hundred meter condo on that land. But I want my condo to be very special and unique. My, they're they're going to ask me, Ivan, do you want like a parking lot that leads to your door? No. I want I want you to build a garage. The, a high-tech door that opens like like Incredibles, obviously. In my condo. You, you have automatic doors in my condo. In my garage. You know what I'm saying? The garage door opens and you have like this. Remember that picture I showed you in my clarification? You got a, a nice like. Design like that for my parking lot. Me and VJ. Okay, Ivan, what's your capacity for your parking? Six cars. I don't want to add... Uh, six cars is enough. I don't want my garage to be too big. Me and VJ could own three cars each. That's enough. I don't want me and VJ owning 20 cars. We're wasting money. We can own three cars each. Obviously. And we have an escalator that takes us to the elevator. And we have a high-tech glass elevator. And we have three floors. First, bottom floor is garage. Second floor is pool room. I'm also going to build jacuzzis in my pool room, obviously. Maybe two or three jacuzzis in my pool room. That way, if me and the actors have parties, and P and them have parties, you know what I'm saying, in the pool, in the pool, we have a pool party. I'm probably going to do a pool party with the actors whereby we go swimming, and we chill in jacuzzi, and we drink, like, wine. And, like, smoke weed. <laughs> and get high. <laughs> yeah, man. Now, I'm not going to get high with the actors. I, I only want to get high with VJ. But we're going to, like, have... I'm, I'm probably going to have a few pool parties with Peter and the actors and all of them. Peter and Fran, all of them, and my 17 and the actors. And John Favreau and, and James Gunn, all of them. We're going to have a pool party in my, in my... In my... In my... Whoever I choose, right? A pool party in my... In my... In my... In my, in my condo. And that's why you got to build a pretty big pool. I don't want the pool to be too small. I want it to be pretty big. And the third floor is, is me and Vijay, where me and VJ live, the condo. Will the condo be big? No, it won't be huge, but it's high-tech luxury, obviously. It's a high-tech luxury condo. So the condo is not, the, pen, the condo penthouse is not super big, but it's high, high, high-tech. That's my point. It's nicer than all these Hollywood celebrities' homes. Some Sarah. Something so high-tech that even, like, guys like Ben Affleck will be shocked. Holy shit, Ivan. This is your crib? I'm like, yeah, Keanu Reeves is like, holy shit, Ivan, this is your crib? I'm like, yeah, he's like, holy shit, this is nice. Yeah, he's shocked. Yeah. Obviously. Hence why, when I get a girlfriend, which I will, obviously, you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why they're, they're, they're going to force me to choose between me and VJ, obviously, because they want to live that life for me, obviously. 
whoever becomes my girlfriend, they're gonna wanna they're gonna wanna live that billionaire life with me. They know if I'm with Ivan, I'm taking care of I can I, I you know I'm saying Ivan can I can work for Ivan Skype's company and Ivan can pay me, I can be his 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 wife in the movie and Ivan can pay me a good salary. Because they know Ivan O'Mayor is a ticket out of the average life. Is it Sarah? Because I have the keys and I'm the son of God, I can make amazing money. There's all these people around the world, the chances are they're all gonna make 50, 60 K a year, 70, 80 K a year. If they're lucky they can make a hundred, but it's not easy even making a hundred K in this world. As I told you, every Every business owner's, like everyone's goal in the world, every average person's goal is to be a millionaire, but they know it's pretty much impossible to be a millionaire. It's tough to be a millionaire, obviously. But if they can't be a millionaire, they want to at least make it to at least 100, 150, 200K. That's their goal, but it's not easy making 150, 200K, some Sarah. It's not easy making that money. That's my point. Not easy. Because Ivan Mayer has the keys, he can make these billions. I'm sorry. Ivan Mayer has the keys, he can make their easy billions, obviously. I'm sorry. And all the people around the world who become rich are all sold out to gatekeepers. They have to do it to, 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 for them to open the door for them. Obviously. That's how it works in this world. You can make your 100, 150K, 200K for free. But the moment you make 200,000 plus, chances are you met a gatekeeper. And you have to do it to make your money. That's how it works in this world. I made a video about this. How the, In every level of business, you have gatekeepers. You have YouTube gatekeepers. You have the sports, the sports industry gatekeepers. You have uh, uh, the news industry gatekeepers. You have the author world gatekeepers. You have Hollywood gatekeepers. You have gatekeepers in all level of businesses. If you want your real estate success, you have to sell to a gatekeeper. That's how it works. Because that's why God gave me the keys. Oh, I have to sell out to any gatekeeper. I know my own door. So God gave me the keys. I'm the heir to the kingdom. Me and me are the heirs to the kingdom. Obviously, we're supposed to be king queen. We're royalty. Guys, me and Vijay are more royalty than Prince Harry and, and, and Meghan Markle and Prince Williams and all of them. Don't hate me, guys. Even though they're royalty, they're not they're not true royalty like me and Vijay. Me and Vijay have the God gene. We have the green blue blood. We have the the, the, the royal blood of God. And that's the symbols in the Bible how it says Jesus is the heir through in the Bible they call Jesus the heir throughout the kingdom. Obviously. The symbolism in the Bible is the Father is God, the creator of the universe, obviously. And his son was born, just like just like I, I'm the son of God. I'm born in time, obviously. That's why I'm the son of God. And my father, which is me, created the universe. That's why I'm the heir to the kingdom. That's why they say Jesus is the king of kings, because I'm the king. I'm, I'm the heir to the kingdom, obviously. I'm sorry. But the devil is... I'm, this is a shocking truth about the Bible. The devil is also a king, too. The devil is also Lucifer is also a king too. He's the he's the ruler of the uh, of, of of the world. Obviously, he's a he's a king too, but he's not the true king. The true king is Jesus Christ because he's the he's God's son. Obviously, Sarah. Yeah. Obviously. I might make a video on the Bible how Satan is also a king too, uh, according to the Bible. He's a king. But he's not the the the, 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 he doesn't have the highest rank of the king. He's the true king is Jesus Christ. He's the heir. He's God's beloved son. I could make a video about this. I can talk about Bible passages in the Bible. But Satan is also a king too. He's a ruler. They call him the ruler of the, a ruler of the world. The rulers of the rulers of his age. To be a ruler, you have to be a king. Yeah, Satan is also a king too. Sounds like, holy shit, and Satan's a king. Yeah, Satan's a king in the Bible, obviously. Saturn already knows this. He knows the verses, obviously, yeah. Sorry. The symbolism of Satan is the gatekeepers. And the symbolism of his demons are, 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 the, are, are the gatekeepers under the gatekeepers who are the set families. As well as you guys. You guys are wicked people. You're, you're like demons. You're wicked people, obviously. Yeah. That's the symbolism. 
I'm sorry. That's the symbolism, yeah, man. So if he's like, I have no be that high tech, yeah. It will be high tech, but like not exactly like Incredibles. Like, I'm not gonna have my jet go underwater, no. But like my point is that the jet that you saw in Incredibles is like high tech like that. It's like oh, with the GPS. I'm gonna have a GPS installed in my jet. Because chances are I'm gonna put money into renovating my jet, obviously. So if I buy a three hundred million dollar jet, I might put maybe ten million and pimp it out with the GPS and everything. Where it says, Welcome to Sky Source, grab a beer. We are arriving at your destination to Sky Source Entertainment. You know, I was like, that's how you top notch. Yeah, you can pimp out your pimp out your uh your, your jet, which I'm gonna do. Maybe you're gonna do that. It's gonna be easy to pimp it out. And the condo I'm probably gonna put three hundred to even three fifty million dollars towards. I'm gonna pimp it out. Whether it's on top of the roof or maybe you have to buy land, we're going to pimp out the condo. Indoor pool. But it won't be super, super big because it's only me and Vija living there. And our dogs, obviously. But I'm going to have like a, a garage door that opens. Like a, like a software Incredibles. You have a beautiful garage and you have escalators. And you, have this, uh, you have this glass elevator that goes to the second floor and third floor. Second floor is the pool. Is, the second floor takes you to the pool area. And the third floor takes, uh, top floor takes us to me and VG, where me and VG live. And we have a, you, and then when we, when, you, when we enter, you have this automatic door that opens when you open the elevator. You and VG punch in the code, the automatic door opens. And we have our kitchen, we have our big living room, we have our terrace that overlooks outside. Luxury terrace. And we have our private IMAX city room, we have our jacuzzi room in our, in our, in our, in our, in our condo. And upstairs, we have our me and Vijay's room where we sleep. Just one bedroom. We only need one bedroom where me and Vijay sleep, obviously. Luxury bedroom. We have our, our, our bathroom, our luxury shower. I showed you pictures of the top of the shower on our own. And we have our gym. And we have a bathroom downstairs. That's it. So it's not super big, but it's high, high tech luxury. That's my point. Obviously. But make the terrace pretty big that way for my parties. I want the living room to be big, pretty big. The, the kitchen doesn't have to be too big. Now, I want the living room to be big because that's where I'm going to do the parties with the actress and all them and then Peter and all them. Or Mel. That's why you have to have a pretty big living room, obviously. And make the terrace pretty big, too. So you see my point here? Yeah. I'm going to own a luxury, like, seven in our yacht. It's going to be top notch, yeah, man. Let's see. Some siren? 300 to 300 miles is enough for the car. I'm not going to put money towards that. The moment you put more money, you're just wasting money. I can easily put four, or 500 million towards the car, but you're wasting money. You don't want to waste money. You can pivot it out. Oh, you can make it even more high tech if you want, but 350 million dollars is high tech enough. Like, that's like what you saw for, like, Incredibles. That's like 300 million dollars. Yeah. Like, what you, that jet that you saw, that's like a 300 million dollar jet in Incredibles. Because that guy in Incredibles who, uh, who, 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 the guy in Incredibles, obviously, he's a he, be, he became a billionaire selling tech. Obviously, he's a billionaire. That guy, obviously, and that jet that he had was like a three hundred million dollar jet with a GPS. Yeah, that's only top notch. Some Sarah. All right, have you lost any weight? No, I'm still at two eighty four. Obviously, when I took yesterday off, so I took three days off. I'm going to go on the treadmill tonight. I'm going to go around maybe 10, 11. I'm going to go tonight, and I got work tomorrow. I work all week till Sunday. And my chances are my boss might make me work Monday, and he might maybe give me Tuesday ones up. I don't know. But my next paycheck will be a big paycheck because I work five shifts this week. So I'll make my $900 plus. Dollars. I can put 300 in my paycheck, and I'll now be back to $1,300 saved. Right now, I should have... Right now, I should have like sixteen, at least sixteen hundred saved. I have a thousand saved because I've been blowing up in my savings. But but next page when I get nine hundred dollars, I will put three hundred in my savings. I'll have thirteen hundred saved. Obviously, the chances are my boss will be making me work five to six shifts a week because the other dishwasher is now starting school, so he can only work weekends. Hence, why the boss is gonna have me work week, uh, probably five shifts a week. I don't want to work six shifts though. Like, yes, I'll make $1,000, but I don't want to work six shifts. It's too stressing. I want to at least work four to five shifts a week. Five shifts a week is good for me. But I work till Sunday, no break, because he gave me Monday, Tuesday off, and I work today. But, um, but yeah, that way I can save up money, and I can uh, save up money for my book, obviously. 
Now, I might consider going for my bike license in the fall. It only takes one month to complete my license for my bike. It's easy riding a bike. I can, if I get my license, I can save up for a bike. My priority is the book first. Then once I get that added, I'll start saving up for a bike. And maybe by like July or like August of next year, I can buy my bike. My like $8,000 used bike, motorbike. I'm not a fan of the motorcycles. I want a motorbike like the ones that Keanu Reeves drives. Except a cheaper, shittier version than that. He drives the high-end ones. I'm driving the shittier, cheaper, used versions of what he has. So that I'm not, uh, I'm not as rich as Keanu Reeves yet. Since I don't hate them. Son. Yeah. That's why it when I get a girlfriend, because I will get a girlfriend, guaranteed, she's gonna force me to choose between between her and VG Obviously, you have to make a choice between you. It's either you, me, or your wife. I'm like, yeah, I'm choosing VJ. I'm not choosing over VJ. You're not Victoria Justice. You're fucking trash. And you're gonna age in 20 years. You're not you can't live with me forever, man. I know you wish you had the blue blood like VJ, but you don't. You can't live forever with me. And you can't stay young forever. You're you're gonna and you're garbage. Attractive on the outside, yeah. I'm not choosing trashy sex over the fresh sex, no fucking way. And you're gonna age in 20 years. Victoria Justice is never gonna age. My VJ will never age, man. She's gonna stay on forever with me, man. And you're not Victoria, you're not as hot as VJ. You don't hate them, son. You're not as hot as VJ. Yeah, there you go. If I told you what you can do for the chick. What you can do for the chick, what you can do for the chick, obviously, um, if I end up getting a girlfriend, whoever I end up dating, obviously, you can give her like a fifteen, twenty thousand uh, dollar gift card to help her out, and you can even buy her a car if you want. You can buy her uh, a Benz or a BMW, pay it all off for her. It's all paid off. Everything's paid off. All you have to do is just pay the insurance. You can do that for her if you want. Because that's how generous I am, obviously. That way she doesn't, she doesn't feel that like you use her. Right, you still use me, man. You know, I'm a, you're you're going to run off me with that bird life. Yeah, because you're not meant for me, man. Look, think about this. If you were in my shoes, would you would you hire me? You wouldn't hire me. Would you would you, would you sign me to a one fifty thousand dollars bill? You wouldn't do that. You would take off with your with your husband, who's why? Yeah, if, if you were Anne, right? But you're not. Oh, hey, Nixon. If you were Anne, like Victoria Justice, the Spirit of God, and you had a husband who was why... Would you choose me over your husband's why you wouldn't do that, obviously? Obviously, I'm, you know what I'm saying? And would you want? Like, put yourself in my shoe, yeah, Ivan. I wouldn't give you shit, yeah. And I'm nice enough to give you, like, a $15,000, $20,000 gift card. I can even buy you, you can buy her a car if you want. You can do that. If you if I made $9 million, I can easily buy her a $40,000 car. It's on its pocket, I can afford it. Because that's how generous I am. I'm a nice person. That way... The, the, your, your girlfriend doesn't feel like you use her. She'll, she'll appreciate you. I even thank you. You can give her a $15,000 gift card. You can buy her a nice, like, $40,000 car. Surprise her. Yeah, I have a gift for you. I bought you a car. You bought me a car, Ivan? Yeah, is it paid off? Yeah, it's all paid off. I, I pay for it with my own cash. Um, Everything's paid off. All you have to do is just pay. You have to pay for the gas. And you have to pay the insurance. And insurance for cars is cheap. You only pay, like, a couple hundred bucks a mile. One fifty eighty dollars a month insurance for a car. It's not expensive. And that's why you give her like a fifteen twenty thousand dollars gift card. I wish she she'll appreciate you. Thank you, I'm You're very generous. Yeah, you wouldn't do this for me if 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 if, if you were a billionaire. I'm willing to do this for you because I'm fucking generous. That way, the, your your, your ex girlfriend doesn't feel like you use her. Because I want these these women to know I'm not using you. I just want to have a girlfriend, man. But at the same time, you you you're, you're not meant for me. That's why you're not gonna live life with me when I'm gay. I know you want to live life with me when I'm gay, but you're not meant for me. Victoria Justice is my reason, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. Because I guarantee you, I guarantee you once uh, VJ is queen with me, obviously, all her ex-boyfriends are all going to try and network with VJ like crazy. Well, VJ is going to delete all their numbers, obviously. Once she's with me, she should delete all their, all those guys' numbers. She'll delete it all. Like, now she's now she's she sees the light. She's with me, obviously. 
Just like I have to leave my access number, obviously. All those guys are gonna try and Eric with VJ. Well, VJ, please, man, could you could you uh could you could you could you, could you give Ivan a word about me? Yeah, the Gale days are they're left behind and not safe, obviously. So Sarah, yeah. They're left behind and not safe. After this, I'm gonna go cash my cans and get some cigars maybe at the store. I have a good like twenty dollars worth of cans. So I'm gonna walk to the IGA and cash my cans and I'll get maybe a pack of smokes. And my check on freezes tonight. Obviously, tomorrow I'm after work, I'm gonna go to the I have to pay my insurance tomorrow. My stepfather he's bothering me about the sixty dollars, even though he doesn't need it. I have to pay that off and I'm gonna go to over and back and ask them why the fuck do I owe you seven twenty dollars? They're fucking wicked people, man. Yeah, man. Because Ivan, you were a bit late. I'm like, look, man. I got. I let. I, I let you guys know two weeks after I got my job at Coco for you. Now you're saying I owe you seven twenty. The lady even said, "Yeah, it's okay, Ivan. We, we we sent you a check. Yeah, I sent you a check. You sent me a check, obviously, and I let you guys know. And now you're saying I owe you seven twenty dollars. The seven twenty that you paid me. Now you're saying I owe you that money. They're fucking crazy people, man. They're wicked people. Yeah, man." You know, I mean, because you piss us off, man. Like, we see hell and you you have the keys, you have your house, you piss us off. We want, we want to charge you $720. They're fucking wicked people, yeah, man. Obviously. Ivan, you actually do that for your ex-girlfriend? Yeah. I'll give her, like, a $20,000 gift and I can buy her a car. But don't be stupid and get her like a. The moment you get like a like a seventy eighty thousand car, you're being way too generous. Don't be stupid like that. You can get like a forty thousand dollar car, like a nice Audi, a nice Benz, a nice BMW, brand new one. You can get you can get her a car if you want to help her out. That that way she doesn't feel like you use her, right? And you can give her like a twenty thousand dollar gift card. Cause that's how nice I am. As you would do that for me if 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 if, if you were in my shoes. I want to do that for you because I'm a generous guy. Obviously, some Sarah. That way, the, you, you, your ex girlfriend doesn't think you use her. You, know you can do that for a few more, obviously. Just like Gordon Ramsay in his Kitchen Nightmare show, he's very generous. Sometimes he, uh, sometimes Gordon Ramsay, he, one time I remember he bought, he, he rented out an apartment for two months for one woman. Obviously. He even gave the restaurant, uh, he bought a truck. A van and he gave the restaurant delivery service. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay, I heard, is pretty generous too with his money and all that kind of stuff. But even though those guys are generous, they're not generous like me. Because they're not, they're not, they're not me. And they're not as rich as me, right? Even though Gordon Ramsay is generous, he's not as rich as me. That's why he, he's not, he's not as generous as me. Because I'm so rich, I want to make, like, I don't know, 9 for 5 but I don't hate Gordon Ramsay. I'm, I'm a lot more generous than, than the other guy, the, all these guys in, in, around the world, obviously. Because I'm rich in all of them. <laughs> I'm rich in all the guys. <laughs> I'm rich in all the guys. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's how Tom Hanks was coming. Look at that. What you saw in that video, my third part, take away Tom Hanks. That's how many Incredibles. Except take away some people like Incredibles. Except my my me and VJ are not gonna live in an island. No, that's too boring. I want to I want to have my 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 condo in, in an area where people are. I don't want to have a condo in an island. That's too boring. Obviously. But like, think of something top. No, I'm not gonna have my jet go underwater. No, but like, you're looking at something high high tech whereby like. You have a GPS talking to the actors when they're flying. It's like a, what you saw in Incredibles, that's the kind of jet I'm gonna own. My three hundred, my seven hundred jet will not be as high tech. But I'm probably gonna put renovate that too. I'm gonna put maybe ten million to maybe fifteen million towards renovating, pimping out my jets. Maybe put ten million towards my three hundred dollar jet, five million towards my seven hundred jet, and pimp it out with the GPS and everything. Have the have the, the, the GPS say welcome to Sky Source. 
grab a beer, take a seat. Buckle your seatbelt where you're riding to your destination. Yeah, like you pimp it out. Something hot high tech. Yeah, but I'm gonna blow out of the water. You have my beautiful, like, uh, my beautiful lot. My grandma's look like property lot. Yeah. Looking top notch my company, man. Yeah, man. Something top notch. Ivan, what would VJ, what would VJ be the most stoked about? The yacht, the jets, the condo, or the lot? Probably the condo, because that's where me and VJ live, right? But VJ will be stoked about all of it, right? She'll be stoked, obviously. She'll be stoked about the condo. She'll be stoked about the... Having only a high-tech yacht's cool, too, right? She'll be stoked about the jet. She'll be stoked about the lot. Probably the condo and the lot will probably... be VJ will be the most stoked about, probably. Because, because, because the lot's me and VJ's company, obviously. I'll put maybe $200 million towards uh, my lot for my company. $200 million is enough money. $200 million. $150 is a bit too cheap. I can put $200 million to pimp it out. To pimp up, I want to pimp up my buildings. Put $200 million towards my renovation project for my lot. And I'll buy a $300 million jet and a $700 million jet and a $70 million yacht. Obviously. But if I see a really, really, really nice yacht that I want so bad, it's like $75 million, I'll buy it. Or $80 million, I can buy it. Obviously. But my range is around that, like, 60 to 70, 75 million range for my yacht. Something Tom Notch, yeah, man. Obviously. Yeah. Yeah, peace out, guys. You already deserve, man. You're left behind. You're not saved. <laughs> I'm just doing that. Yeah. I'm only going to make a one-hour video, guys. I'm tired. I don't feel like making a full video. I only have two smokes left, so I'm going to make a one uh, another part, and I'm done. I'll talk about Zanes in my next part. And tomorrow I'll go back to talking about the transformation topic. I've been losing the weight. You know what I'm saying? Rubbing it in Emmanuel's face. She pisses me off. She fucking rejects me. I'm moving on. I'm done with her, man. She's too bad. Unless she really shows that she likes me, man. After I lose this weight, you know what I'm saying? I'm probably moving on. I'm going to go for another chick. Because she's too bad of a chick. She fucking rejected me. And she says she doesn't do dates. So what do you want me to do? Yeah, there you go. I'm sorry. So I'm going to hire a seven team, two secretaries, one head of production, one legal advisor or lawyer, and one accountant. They have to be Hollywood people who have Hollywood experience. The secretaries will pay them $1 million yearly salary, like I said in my last video, and $5.5 million of their royalties. And they get a two a 150 k post winning bonus. And they get a $2,000 gift for their gas card. And they get the perks, the limo services for the takeouts, part up my yacht, part up my condo, flying on my private jet. All those per experience like working in my nice garage was like property, the high end, high tech office. I'm also gonna have a high high tech office, guys. Everything's high tech in Skyscrapers. The luxury buffet, third, fourth here. Yeah, they're getting spoiled. The party at the hotel, Burjak Hotel. Yeah, man. Some Sarah. And the other guys, the legal advisor, hair production account, I pay them two million yearly salary. Because they're the bigger bosses, and they get eleven million dollars in the royalties. Right. So my seven team are pretty much making the kind of money that the uh, A-listers making all the small A-listers making Hollywood, pretty much, right? Yeah, my seven team are making like smaller A-lister deals, pretty much. My seven team are making pretty much smaller A-lister deals, and my script developers are making the bigger A-lister deals. But it varies on who I hire. John Favreau will get like 100 million royalties. Dave, I'll pay him 33 million royalties. James Gunn, I'll pay him like 60 million royalties. The Russo, the Russo Bros, I'll pay them like 48 million royalties. They're not as big as them. 45 million royalties, I'll pay them. Ryan Coogler, I'll pay him like maybe 35 million, 36 million royalties. Because he's not as big as the other guys. 38 million royalties around there, yeah. Ryan Johnson, if he's if his net worth goes up to like a hundred plus million dollars, I can pay him 75, 80 million royalties. The reason why I'm paying John a hundred million royalties is because John is really big. He's worth two hundred million dollars. He's big. That's why he's gonna demand a lot of money. Okay, is a hundred million dollars enough for you, John? I have over one fifty. I'm like, no, John. I have, you're gonna make your billions off a movie and you're making a big deal one fifty dollars. I'm like, John, you're not worth that. I'm not gonna ha overpay you and have you written me off like that. No, one hundred million dollars is enough. That's sixty million dollars for taxes. You can buy your own private jet with that money for your family. John Favreau can already afford his own private jet. He's worth $200 million. If 
But if you make that money, you can easily afford to get your own private jet. Like an 18, 20 minute jet you can afford. You can buy your 15, 20 minute house with your bonus on paying you. 34 minute bonus on paying you. Then you can easily get his 5, 6, 7 million dollar house that you can get. It's a good deal. Alright, if you're going to choose. Somebody tells I'm going to go with Dave Filoni and John Farrow. I think I'm going to uh, uh, click best the best for them. Obviously. Or I might go with Peter Rice and James Gunn. But James Gunn, I have to grab him from DC, right? Obviously, that's the thing, though. Because DC might 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 extend uh, uh, James Cameron's... Con uh, not James Cameron. They might extend uh, James Gunn's contract. Some Sarah. Hence, I don't know, man. That's why James Gunn is probably un unlikely. But if he sends in his resume, I'll highly consider him. But somebody tells me George but Ivan, go for John Farrell and Filoni, man. They're, they're Star Wars guys. I know those guys are they're hard workers. Go for them. They're, they're good for your company. I'll okay, fine. I'll hire those guys. I choose John Farrell and Filoni as my CEOs, my company. <laughs> and uh, I got you got the job. I got the job. You got the job, Dad. I got the job. Yeah. And you fly them to Vancouver and they have to work for you for like 20, 23, 24 years, whatever it is. And after that, it's over, guys. I'm hiring you to you don't hate me. Send me out. So, uh, me and VJ have to look at the resume because it's a seven team. As well as the photographers. I'm going to hire three photographers who have Hollywood experience. You have to have Hollywood experience working for the magazine companies. Who took pictures for Kendall Jenner's Rogue magazine. Um, Victoria's Secret's a uh, 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 Vogue magazine. Victoria's Secret is, uh, is, a, is a model too. Yeah, all those top-notch. I don't know all the names. All those top-notch models. You hire the photographers who took pictures for those models. You have to hire a web designer who has Hollywood experience who work for the Hollywood company. It's a big, like, five, six companies, as well as two graph designers to work for your company, and three head chefs. The chefs, I want them to be Canadian, and you have to ha own a professional restaurant. If you own, like, a franchise restaurant, you're out. No, I want chefs who own professional restaurants. Eric Chong owns a professional restaurant, and he's actually a head chef. He's not some line cook who works... In a restaurant, no, he's a head chef and he was trained under Alvin, who's one of the best chefs in the world. Top, I don't know, top 30 best chefs in the world, yeah. He was on MasterChef Canada, he's an amazing chef. He's not Gordon Ramsay, Alvin, but he's one of the best chefs in the world. He trained Eric Chong. Eric Chong went to China and he trained under Alvin. And now he he co-owns a restaurant with that chef, yeah. I think r and a place is a successful restaurant in Toronto. So, Sarah... Chances are I will choose Eric, who will be one of my head chefs, and I'll hire two other ones to be to, to be the head chefs alongside him. I don't know who who the other two other ones will be. We'll see what happens, obviously. I'll show my camera view.